Hello, welcome to Math Guide in Vula DK Tutorials. We want to look at the examination paper for 2022 Mathematics External. So this question paper under section A has got two questions uh, and you are expected to solve or to, to get the solutions for both sections. So question number one says that is 1a, solve the equation 5x plus 12 equals to x minus 6. So to solve is to find the value, in this case the value of x. So how can we solve or the, get the value of x? We can see that we have 5x plus 12. These two cannot be added because they are unlike terms. And in that case, we shall do the collection of like terms meaning we put together those terms that are the same. So we have 5x, which shall go with negative 2x, which is the additive inverse of positive 2x. And this shall be equal to negative 6 minus 12, which is also the additive inverse of positive 12. From there, it will be, when we subtract 2x from 5x, we shall get 3x which shall be equal to negative 18 when we subtract negative 12 from negative 6. And then to get the value of x, we can simply say we shall divide on both sides by positive 3, which is the coefficient of x, so that we have x equals 3 into negative 18 shall give us negative 6. So that is for the first part. Okay, coming to question number 1b, says in a class of 36 learners, 30 like mathematics. If a learner is chosen at random from the class, find the probability that the learner does not like mathematics. So, we need to understand that in this class, there was 36. Out of 36, we can take away or we can subtract 30 which is for mathematics, and this is going to give us six learners. These learners, we can assume that these are the ones who do not like mathematics. These do not like mathematics. Now, we want to find the probability, meaning the, 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 the certainty that out of the total, which is 36, the, the others do not like mathematics. So we are going to say probability of those that does not like mathematics is equal to, so we have these are 6 out of how many in total? 36. And it shall come to a simplified fraction of 1 over 6. That is for question number 1. Okay, we can quickly look at question number C. The question says, given that the matrix B is as indicated here, the elements are negative 4, 8, 6, 2, and so this, this is matrix B, sorry. Then matrix C equals it has the elements 2, 0, negative 3, 1. Find 1 over 2b minus c. So, 1 over 2b minus c. This shall be equal to, we shall get the 1 over 2. And we need to understand that between this fraction and the matrix b, there is multiplication. So, the multiplication is going to be represented by the use of the brackets which are part of the matrix given by the matrix B with elements negative 4, 8, 6, 2. And from this, we shall subtract the matrix C with elements 2, 0, negative 3, and 1. From there, we need to understand that this number which is outside is known as a scalar. And a scalar is supposed to multiply every element inside of the matrix. So it will be 1 over 2 times negative 4 
1 over 2 times 8, 1 over 2 times 6, 1 over 2 times 2, in that order. Then from here we are going to subtract the matrix 2, 0, negative 3, 1, in that order. From there we are going to have When we multiply 1 over 2 times negative 4, we get negative 2. 1 over 2 times 8, we get positive 4. 1 over 2 times 6, we get 3. 1 over 2 times 2, we get 1. Subtract this other matrix. And uh, how do we subtract two matrices? The, the, the concept is that we need to subtract the corresponding elements so the first element is going to go with the first element in the other matrix the second element is going to go with the second element in that order so this will come to negative 2 minus 2 then the space you leave space 4 minus 0 then down here we shall have 3 subtracting negative 3 1 subtracting 1. And this will come to negative 4. Positive 4. This is positive. We get a positive 6 and a 0. This is what we are going to have for part C of the question. Coming to part D, it says given that length L of a rectangle is a rectangle and its area A Comma, complete the steps below for calculating and displaying the breadth. So, talking of area of a rectangle, we understand that the formula is given by area equals length times breadth. Okay? And in this case, we want to complete the steps for calculating and displaying the breadth of a rectangle. So, if we are to rearrange this formula in order for us to make a breadth or be the subject of the formula, then we can simply divide on both sides by B. And B is going to be equal to A over length. So, where we are supposed to enter, we are going to enter length times breadth because these are the two elements that we are going to, to multiply in order for us to get the area of a rectangle. That's why we put enter L, B, then B is for the process that we are going to perform or the formula. So the formula will be as indicated. So B is already there. We simply add A over L. Then what are we going to display? We shall display the outcome, which in this case is the breadth or simply B that is on part, part D. Coming to question number 2a, it says find the value of this given figure which is in base 2 divided by 1, 1 in base 2, giving your answer in base 2. So there are two methods that we can use. We can either uh, convert these two numbers in 2 base 10, and then we divide, we get the solution in base 10, which we can still convert back in 2 base 2. Or we can use this method that we are going to use, which is dividing using wrong, the wrong method. Wrong division, sorry, the wrong division method. So this 11 or 1, 1 into this number, uh, we understand it cannot go into 1. So it will be divided into the first two digits. We are going to get a 1. 1 times this very number, we get that figure there. Of which we are supposed to subtract when we do to give us a zero down here so zero we cannot divide this number in, in zero so we shall drop down a one again one we divide this number there it can't so we shall put a zero on top and then drop another one which when we divide 11 there, we shall have a 1. 1 times that number, we get 11. 
we subtract it will be a zero zero there it can't we shall drop down that one eleven there it can't with zero there we drop another one there we are going to have one one by eleven we get eleven and then we shall subtract to get a zero so that is for 2a then in solving the simultaneous equations below we can use elimination method so we can subtract equation 2 from 1 so a minus 2a we get negative 